Do you know what external ID field is used for in Salesforce? No. Oh, don't worry. I'll tell you what external ID is. Let's begin. Now let's have a look at the definition of external IDs. External ID is a custom field that has to external ID attribute checked, meaning that it contains unique record identifiers outside of Salesforce. Okay. Uh, to make you understand what external ID is, uh, let me take a simple example. Let's say this is your external system from which you want to import or basically you want to update or upset the records present into your Salesforce. And like this is the ID over here of different different records and these are the record ID record ID as you uh, I mean you must be knowing about it what record IDs are these are the unique identifiers of each and every record in your whole org so these are like I mean whenever we are updating the records or whenever we are upsetting the records we generally select record ID as a unique identifier so that uh, whatever information we are updating into the records so uh, like records gets matched based on record IDs but what if you do not have record ID ready available in your external system. In that situation, external ID comes into the picture. And what happens is that you have to select, uh, I mean, you have to check any of the custom fields present into your Salesforce org as an external ID so that whenever you're like updating the records or upsetting the records from your external system, you can select that field as an extra, or like that field uh, as a unique identifier and based on that, the update or upsert process begins. And what I mean by begins is that whenever you are updating the records, these, I mean, let's say, take, take an example that we have selected email as an external ID in Salesforce. Uh, in that situation, whatever records we are updating from external system into our Salesforce, the email ID of the records needs to be unique in the external system. And or uh, like whatever record we are updating, let's say, I have a record uh, a at b.com over here and I have this record as email a at b.com then in that situation whatever phone number is there will get updated on this record and whatever name is there will get updated over here as a name and in the second record if I have uh, like c at d.com and in the like first record I have c at d.com then in that situation what will happen is that whatever information is present into the second org will get updated into this first record in Salesforce. So this is what external IDs are used for. Isn't it amazing? Of course it is because now you can update and upsert the records using any other custom field rather than the record ID. But there are some limitations too. So the first limitation is only fields with data type auto number, email number and text can be marked as an external ID. And what that means is that only the fields which are of data type auto number, number, email or text can be marked as an external ID or can be used as an external ID. No other field of any other data type can be used as an external ID. Now comes the second point. An object can have at most seven external ID fields. Yes, you can have at max seven external ID fields on a single object and earlier it was three. So you might find some questions around on the web uh, like I mean like you might find some quiz or something like that uh, like it like at any place or at any quiz or at any other blog uh, where the answer might be written it as three. So it has been changed I guess in uh, spring uh, like 14 or 15 I guess but earlier it was three and now it is seven. That means you can only create seven external ID fields on a single object not more than that. The third and the most important point that we all need to consider is custom fields marked as unique also count against an object's limit of seven external ID fields. And what I mean by that is that it's not that you can create seven external ID fields on an object at most. It's basically the unique fields that you create on an object on an object plus the external ID fields which you create an ob and an, uh, on an object count against the limit. And that is unique fields plus external ID fields needs to be less than or equals to seven. They cannot be greater than that. Let's take an example. We have four fields as an external ID field. We cannot create four unique fields. We can only create three unique fields. We have uh, three fields as external ID all and also unique. But we have two fields as uh, like, I mean, we have 
two fields as unique that can go along because it's less than seven but what if uh, we have created external four external id fields and now also we want to create four different unique fields also so that is not possible because it counts against the limit of external id and this is an interview question write down in fact all the points that i have told you on external id are interview questions now what are we waiting for Let's jump right into our Salesforce org and create some external ID fields. So let's make any of the field of any of the object as an external ID. So uh, let's say I want to go into the bank account object and I'll go on that object and then go to fields and relationships and over there I'll find out a field of auto number or let's say um, I mean uh, any number or text field uh, that I want to make as an external ID. Let's say I want to make this PAN number uh, as an external ID because it uh, its data type is uh, number. So I'll click on edit and over here I'll select external ID. That's it. That's all what you have to do to create a, uh, like to set a field as, as an external ID and if you want you can like select it as uh, unique as well and click on save. That's it. Now let's see what is the difference that you will uh, like I mean that will that you're gonna see when you have changed all of these things so for like to see that we'll go to setup and in setup we'll type in data import wizard launch wizard uh, I'll select custom object and bank account and on update existing records and here it is coming as name salesforce.com id and pan number just because i have selected as an uh, like pan number as an external id if there was uh, like if there was no external id field on that particular object then there would have been only two options name and salesforce.com id so this is all what you have to do to create a field like to set a field as an external id uh, in salesforce also, if you're creating a field and at that point of time you want to select the field as an external ID, then you just have to do it like this. Like, let's say I want to go into object manager mm -hmm. and then again to bank account. And let's say I'm creating a new field. I go to fields and relationships and click on new. And then I'll select it as, like, let's say, text. Then next. Over here, uh, you can enter the field label, field name, everything and select this field as an external ID and, or if you want to set it as unique, then check it as unique. Otherwise, just leave it as external ID. That's it. Congratulations. You now know what external ID is in Salesforce. Now it's time to hit the subscribe button over here with the notification bell icon. So you'll be the first one who gets notified whenever a new video gets uploaded. And if you're watching this video on Facebook or LinkedIn, there's a link down in the description. Just hit that link. Go to the YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button to get weekly videos all related to Salesforce with the Salesforce Hulk. What else do you want? Creating a video every week. Providing it to you. That too for free. Hit the subscribe button right now. See you next week and bye bye. Take care.